You heard what I had to say about the single player experience of uh, Mass Effect. There is a, another huge component that I know the folks at Bioware spent a lot of time working on. So we thought we'd be remiss if we didn't just take a little bit of time, separated it, and discuss what that experience was about. A multiplayer horde mode-esque kind of gameplay where you and a friend come together and battle waves and waves of baddies in the world of Mass Effect Andromeda. Myself and Anton have spent a, a fair bit of time, you know, we went through a lot of different classes to experience what it offers, saw the level up system, and I guess let's just start generally, overall, what do you think of the experience? I surprisingly enjoyed the multiplayer more than I did the single player. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. It is pretty comprehensive. I can it's it's just fundamentally I don't really like games like Overwatch because I get destroyed. I don't really like games like Call of Duty for the same reason. I like the idea that you can compete with your friends and against them, but still be on the same team. I'm not going to get destroyed by someone who's a Turian sniper that can fly around and kill me in the corner of the map. I like the idea that you're just competing scores, essentially. Yeah. So um, how it's integrated into the main story is pretty cool. Very early on... In Mass Effect, in the single player, you meet the military leader of the Nexus called uh, Kondaris or Kandaris or something like that, I think it is. Yeah. He's a cool he's a cool ass Turian with a deep voice. And he tells you that he is using strike teams to kind of complete different objectives in this new galaxy, to take out new baddies. And within that system, you can have kind of a strike team um placeholder that has a bunch of cool little faces and you can send them on missions. Or, if you want, you can opt to go on the mission yourself in multiplayer. And that's what pushes you into the multiplayer HUD. You get Andromeda points for that, which can affect and give you rewards in the single player, which I think is really, really cool. Or if you want to avoid all of that in entirely, just go to the main menu of the game. Multiplayer is right there. You don't have to mess with strike teams. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And in terms of the actual game that uh, you're playing, it's like I said, very similar to Mass Effect 3. Horde mode where you play as um, different select archetypes of characters. We don't have the profiles like you do in the single player game. There's one select character archetype. You level up those characters and you fight hordes and hordes. That's based on the um, complexity system of... Bronze, silver, and gold for how difficult they are. Yeah. Now, in terms of actually developing and and, and moving up, uh, how does this work? So it's a little confusing. It's got kind of the whole like pay to get stuff formula. But as you play these missions, you get points that you could spend on boxes. These boxes will unlock a bunch of different things randomly, mm-hmm. depending on how much points you end up spending. Um, in order to level up characters, you actually will get cards of these characters' faces. And if you get similar cards to what you already own, they will combine to level up the character, which will raise its base stats mm-hmm. and make the character technically stronger. Um, as well with that, you can level up the character just by killing enemies, completing missions that will give you experience, which you can put toward your skills so you can invest more. Just like in the single player. Just yeah. like the single player. Just like player. in the single player. And um, from those boxes, too, you'll gain weapons. And in order to get stronger versions of the weapons you currently own, just like the characters, you have to get the same matching card. Yeah, there's no level up system for the weapons yeah, at this point. Yeah, it's really weird and very randomized. Uh, for leveling up your characters, what kind of stuff does that affect? Like base strength, base speed? Like what are we talking here? We're looking at health and base shield from what we've seen. Mm-hmm. We only really put in what, like three, four hours? But I at one point I ended up level six with no no like new character levels. And he ended up with what was like two characters at level two. Three. Yeah, so I, I play a little bit longer and w- when you first start, it's kind of cool. They will give you a bunch of extra packs if you own like Mass Effect 3 or Dragon Age Inquisition. And I was very fortunate to get what I think is one of the coolest characters in the game in the multiplayer, an Ingaran insurgent character. So Ingaras are the new species, these little fish frog dudes. And this guy sets up different traps and turrets and he can kind of maneuver the map around Anton was playing as an infiltrator and we were able to almost beat very very close to beat a lot of these games just you and I yeah when it's supposed to be a team of four yeah so um when you're playing these different classes like does it seem pretty balanced like were your scores ending up about the same or 
How is that working out? Well, let's start off by saying Anton is a lot better okay, at fair, video games fair. than I am. Like, just objectively, I'll when he st- points at things, they die quicker. Stop this. So stop. he was at some points ahead of me. But I, I like the idea because it seems like each of these characters will bring something different to the team. But you don't necessarily need one. Yeah. You know, I, you don't need a tank. There's no, there's none of that sort of archetyping in here. I, you can go on with four biotic players if you want, even up to the harder difficulties. But there is a lot of uh, maneuverability. Like I said, I was able to play this insurgent character. I used all the different skills, and I felt as if there was a lot of room to grow. But I don't know how much fun this would be four or five months from now. Yeah. I think it's it's a really good multiplayer experience for two or three months, which honestly is not so bad for a multiplayer game. It's not going to have the longevity of Overwatch. It's not really meant to. But overall, I, I do think it is a really solid way to play with the new fighting mechanics that was developed by the Bioware team. Anything else where we go? Yeah, I totally agree with every point. Um, it's a it's a multiplayer system that will only last two to three months by staying interesting. But it's tacked on to a grand single-player game. Yeah. It's a fun experience. Try it out. There you go. We'll be back right after this VGS. <laughs> 